Welcome to Spazoid Studio in New York City. I thought we were a little bit overdue for a, another studio tour because things change so much around here. Gear is bought and sold, but the funk remains. So for 2017, February, let's start with the mainstay of Spazoid Studio. Profit 5 Rev 3.0. This has been with me since 2001, and I had it retrofitted with the Kenton MIDI at that time. And uh, this is Rev 3, 3.0, and this was built in 1981. Okay? So um, this will always be with me. This is a mainstay. I've done so many tracks with this. Still works, still works great, still sounds great. The, um, the key bed needs a cleaning, but works great. And fast forward many, many years, we have the Moog Minotaur, Minotaur <laughs> bass synth. I just got this, very good. Very beefy, low end, inexpensive Moog synth, Moog synth, but it's limited to four octaves. Another brand new piece, is the Roland System 8. Made of plastic, quite flimsy, but sounds fucking phenomenal. And it comes with the Jupiter 8 and Juno 6, Juno 106 um, as stock. So, really nice. And um, kind of um, the predecessor to the System 8, people think is the JP8000 here. I had one of these way back and sold it. Got this recently a couple of months ago and it's all right. I, I just think it's very plastic sounding. And here we have, uh, it's covered up, quite an obscure synth from 1984. This is the Seal DK600 and um, this was made in Italy. Very, very scarce synthesizer. You won't see too many of these. But it's lovely because it's a budget synth that happens to have SSM filters and envelopes. So it's the cheapest way to get that sound. Pretty obscure. Moving right along. This is my Nord Lead 2X anniversary model. Only 300 of these were made. I love the Nords because it's so easy to do layering with the slots. It's the easiest of any synth in terms of performance, you know, layering. And it has 20 voices, so you don't run out of voices. But anyway, only 300 of these anniversary editions were made with the black and white uh, reverse keys there. Here's another uh, new acquisition late last year, the Waldorf XTK dedicated wavetable synth. These are also pretty hard to find these days. I don't think Waldorf made too many of these. You can find the um, rack mount, the tabletop version quite easily, but this keyboard version, not really, not really. Here's another new acquisition. This is the Creamware Mini Max, which is basically a um, VST in a box, but a very, very lovely box, very sturdy. It's real wood and metal there. Built like a tank. Sounds very close. Sounds very close to a mini mode. And it's 12 note polyphonic. Here we have the um, Korg Arp Odyssey reissue. Uh, this is with the Slim Keys. This sounds great. Very happy that they did this. But the MIDI spec sucks. Doesn't respond to um, pitch or modulation over MIDI. But the new version, the module does, that they just put out, and they're putting out a full-size key version of this, which I will buy. But it sounds great nonetheless. Very good reissue. And here's an original ARP Axe, which is the baby brother to the Odyssey, which we just saw. This is serial number 32, so it's a very early serial number for the ARP Axe there. Here's another mainstay at Spazoid Studio. My lovely 808, I picked this up about nine years ago for the bargain price of $450. Yes, you heard that right. 
It came with the box, original manual, and plastic overlay. Try to find one of these now for $450. Here we have the Roland CR68, the baby brother to the CR78, very nice drum machine. The Korg Rhythm 55, which is also very nice. These are all analog, these three are analog by the way. Another analog here is the Roland CR8000, lovely. And the Simmons Clap Trap hand clap synthesizer. These are also very hard to find these days. Um, I also have another drum synth here. This is a drum synth, I didn't say drum machine. The Vermona DRM Mark III, completely analog drum module. Uh, eight separate synthesizers here, each with their own output and controls. Make your own analog drum sounds, I love this thing. Here is the RMI Electro Piano from 1968. It's as old as I am. And I forgot to uncover these two lovely machines here. Bear with me. Well, it's an Oberheim DX <laughs> on that side. And on this side is a lovely Lindrum. So yeah, this thing weighs a ton. It weighs a whole lot more than the, than the DX for some reason. Drop this on your foot, kiss your foot goodbye. Anyway, long live the funk. This has been a 2017 tour of Spazoid Studio in New York City, y'all, the home of the funk.